Today was the first day of Eagles rookie mini camp, but that wasn't the big story here at the Novacare Complex. The big story was head coach Doug Peterson didn't exactly swat down everything Wentz has been saying about his knee, but he pumped the brakes just a little bit. Carson, as you expect, has been rehabbing very hard. Looks great when you have had a chance to see video of him. And he says he ex basically expects to be out there week one. He's optimistic, and that's his plan. He's not done a good job of really you know, st stopping the expectations that he'll play when the season starts. But when Doug talked today, he said, look, Carson's not going to play until we think he's fully ready to play. We're going to take it slow. We're going to make sure he's 100% healthy. He even mentioned the name Sidney Jones, who was really able to start practicing around week 8 or 9 last year, but didn't play until week 17. So I'm not saying they're going to hold Carson 7 or 8 weeks. That's certainly not the case. But after 3 or 4 weeks of hearing Carson talk, you know, he was talking to ESPN, talking to all these different outlets about how he's really expecting to play in week 1. Doug really did a good job on Friday of saying, yeah, we want Carson to play week one. That's his expectation. We expect him to feel that way. But, that's a big but, he's not going to get out there until he's fully ready. We feel like he's ready. There's a reason they're paying Nick Foles all this money. Yeah, you want Carson out there in week one, week one against Atlanta. But what you don't want is for him to go out there in week one, and by week two, he's re-injured that ACL. He has to miss a week. For God forbid, he has to go back on IR. So, the Eagles, it seems like they want Wentz out there. He has been out there. A little bit at OTAs, there was a picture of him in a red jersey. Presumably he's throwing the ball, but Doug made it clear, we're not putting Carson back out there until he is fully ready to play.